You have a significant amount of trauma and procedures in the emergency department. The, the department is very busy um, with all sorts of acuity at any given time. On shift, there is always something for me to be doing. I'm always being given procedures, which is a huge plus because I get to practice them and I also get to show that I can do them. You're exposed to all different types of patient populations. It's a level two trauma center, so uh, you really get to see um, a lot of unique types of patients. It's almost completely unopposed, especially whenever it comes to trauma and procedures. Any type of trauma that comes in, you know, you have your attending, you have the trauma attending, but then you're the only resident that's there. And so you get to manage the airway, you get to manage any big procedures that are there. You get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the residents and attendings, and that allows you to get a lot of great feedback. The faculty and the residents are really good about making students feel comfortable, and you're just allowed to learn and um, um, just enjoy yourself when you're on shift. The attendings and the residents both are incredibly willing to teach if you show any interest in learning and you ask questions. Um, even sometimes when you don't ask questions, you know, they like to point things out and make sure that you're learning and make sure that you're growing each and every shift that you work with them. The culture at UPMT Hammett I think is really one of like teamwork and uh, friendship and everybody really wants to see everyone else succeed. It's very much a family feel. It's more of like a family and all the residents get along with each other. A lot of jokes, a lot of friendly like banter and things like that. I would describe the culture like a family. Everybody seems like a family, everybody's looking out for each other. I know at a lot of bigger academic institutions you find um, you have to, as a lower level resident, you have to work directly with an upper level resident and you barely get to work with attendings. However here, uh, no matter if you're a first year, second year, or third year, everybody gets to work directly with attendings uh, one to one ratio. I think that's one of the best uh, aspects about UPMC Hammett, honestly. Um, I think that that's really creating the best learning environment possible. I've worked at some rotations where it's three or four residents paired with an attending. And, you know, when I see a PGY1, you know, being one on one with their attending, they're getting their full attention. They're getting all of the teaching. They're getting all of the feedback. I think it's pretty unique to this program and uh, something that really helps this program stand out. So, student housing is one of the biggest perks of coming to UPMC as a medical student. And I think UPMC just really shows their generosity in having free student housing that is convenient. You know, it's right down the street. All you have to do is walk from the student housing to the hospital. I think the best thing about Erie is that you get all four seasons. Um, there's always something to do, whether it's you like going fishing, you like boating, you like just hanging out. Um, there's a couple cool spots around town that people seem to find very enjoyable. Um, and I think no matter what you like, whether it's winter activities, summer activities, there's something for you to do here. Um, and it's just a great community to be a part of. There's a beach to go to right down the street from the hospital. Erie's a wonderful town. Uh, I'm here in the summer and I've been down in Presque Isle uh, every chance I can get. You know, the beach is beautiful and there's lots of restaurants everywhere and it's really a fun place to be. What's important to me in a residency program is volume of training, one-on-one -on -one with the attendings, seeing a lot of pathology and being in a tight-knit community that has a common goal, which is caring for patients and learning. And all of that, really, I have gotten here and, and more. It's been an incredible experience. Yes, I could see myself in residency here. I personally um, feel like I want to do a fellowship in critical care after my emergency medicine residency. Um, and then with the addition of the 64 bed ICU and the towers that they're expanding currently at Hammett, I feel like there's going to be a lot more opportunity to do critical care here. And I feel like it's just another great learning opportunity for me to get involved with that. I could definitely see myself coming to this program for residency.